Um, hi. <laughs> hi, it's Vanessa. Um, so I'm about to start working again. I'm very excited. I love what I do. I am a substitute teacher. been doing it for almost two years. I did it in our last duty station. I've gone through the process to start doing it here in Hawaii. When I first started substitute teaching, I looked on YouTube to see like what what kind of things I uh, was be taking. Like I didn't know. And I couldn't find that many. I think I found like maybe two videos. I decided now that I've been two years, um, I decided to put together this video so that it'll, it'll be helpful. Um, because when you first start, you are kind of clueless. Um, you, I, I had no training when we first started. It was kind of just throw you into the wolves. Um, and I picked up some stuff though. It, everything's been good. I actually love it. So let's move on. So the first thing is, you have, it's usually you have to carry a big old bag. So this is um, my bag. It's my sub bag. It's a Michael Kors bag, but any bigger bag will work. Um, I like it because I can clean it off um, and it has a zipper so that on rainy days I can zip it up and nothing in here is going to get wet. I love purple. My car's purple <laughs> this is purple. First thing first, what I always carry is um, my phone, my phone, a charger because um, for future um, substitute jobs, um, they usually give you a call. Next, um, I like to keep a folder um, with page protectors, with page protectors. And what I do is when I get a substitute teaching job, um, I usually like to keep the lesson plans that they leave, or a copy of it, um, if possible, because say this is a music class um, lesson plan so say next time they don't leave you say you have a teacher that doesn't leave you a lesson plan you kind of can see what a day looks like so I have a bunch of these in my last job um, I only did elementary school so it was from kindergarten to fifth grade um, so I had a bunch of lesson plans for every grade but here I'm going to be mainly doing middle school so I don't have any experience with them so as you can see I'm starting new but you also want to have what I usually have in this folder too is um, busy work so if the teacher doesn't leave you enough work to last a whole class that's bad um, empty space is very bad for substitute teachers the kids usually start getting a little wild and start talking and it'll if you don't like rein it in it'll turn into chaos so I like to keep just paperwork so this is for math and then this is math stuff I also have English English stuff and um, just keep a little bit in my elementary school folder something for each grade level um, and then I'm just starting to get stuff for middle school grade levels just to have just in case so I keep that in here too I usually have it in between so say this is sixth grade I usually have all the sixth grade busy work in here and I only have one copy because the next thing that I always have in my bag is this like little container with copy paper you don't have to but I will never be without copy paper because and then sometimes you don't know where it is in their class so you don't want to you don't want to deal with that so I also bring my calendar um, because you want to make friends with the school secretary they're usually the ones that um, schedule you in for substitute teaching jobs so I always have my calendar so that I know what days I'm available um, and I can write those in right away so next is um, glasses. I hate the sun <laughs> and sometimes when you're a substitute teacher um, you have to go outside and do recess duty or cafeteria duty or after school duty or before school duty so you don't want to just be sitting out in the sun with no protection. I usually have an umbrella too because that's how much I dislike the sun. So glasses. Time fillers. Um, 
I like to also carry around with me, depending on the grade level, of course, I don't carry all this stuff with me, but depending on the grade level, I like to carry a book. So with the lower kids, with the lower grade kids, um, you can read a book. There's usually time in the day to um, read to them. So depending on what grade they are, you can read them a book. They like that stuff. With the older kids, I like to do um, students against teacher at the end of the day. It's an incentive to rein them in and keep them focused on work until like the last 10 minutes. So I usually tell them if everyone is on task and I walk around and check. If everybody has been on task and finishes or is close to finishing their work by the end of the school day or in middle school by the end of the class period, we get to play um, teacher versus student. So I like to buy a brain quest. So this is the sixth grade one. I'll pick somebody to tally points and to read the question and then we'll do round robin kind of thing. So I'll call the first one up, have them stand next to me, they'll read the question, whoever answers first gets the point, the next person. They really like that. With the smaller kids, incentives are stickers. So at the end of the day, especially with kindergarten, I'm usually like, if you guys are good, you guys get sticker as you're leaving. They love that, they'll eat that up. Or also, I have this thing where um, in elementary school, it, it usually works with the smaller kids better, um, as an incentive to stay on track all day. I'll usually tell them at the beginning of the day that I have a thing called Top Dog. So during the day, I'll have their attendance sheet and I can um, take points of the kids that I see that are on task. So at the beginning of the day, I tell them whoever is Top Dog gets to pick a prize. These are really cheap prizes. In um, our old duty station, there was a store called the 100 yen store where you could get these things for a dollar. Um, and I still have a lot of them. So I would usually get something for a boy or something for a girl and put it in the front of the classroom. So it's some pen, silly pens like this or, you know, like the paper planes or something, little cards or whatever. And at the end of the day, one person, um, the top dog, wins and they get to come and pick a prize and, um, have those things so they love that stuff too I don't give a I don't give out candy or anything like that uh, hair stuff too whatever can happen will happen have a <laughs> president's brain quest as well so I like brain quest a lot Nobody will tell you that not to do that as an incentive because it's um, school related stuff they're learning up to the bell which is what they tell you to do teach until the bell rings, from bell to bell. Um, another must have for me, I get a lot of headaches and I used to bring like Tylenol or ibuprofen and stuff like that. I haven't done that in about a year. So now what I bring is my oils. So um, a pain oil that I usually rub on my temples if I get a headache. Um, something for pain is a must because it's no fun to be with the kids and when you're in pain and stuff it's no fun. Pens and pencils are a good thing too. Last thing that I have um, at the end of the class like I said time fillers for the younger kids too at the end of the day um, I'll tell them if they've finished all their work I'll check all their work and stuff like that um, or you know during recess if there's a kid who's not feeling well or whatever um, I'll usually take like a coloring book. This is a Moana one. I also have a Harry Potter one. I don't give it to everyone. I just give it to those that have stayed on task the whole day or have been helpers. Um, and those are my rewards to them. So I also bring a blank card to thank the teacher. And the, um, in my other job, they had a space in the sheet that we turned in every day to, you know, leave a few words and I always left them, thank you for having me in your class. I don't think they do in this one, so I'll just, these are cheap little cards, but just something to be like, thank you for having me in your class, this is my name, this is my number, if you ever need a sub, please call me. So, um, those are some things that I carry in my bag, Hopeful, hopefully that was helpful. Um, and I will see you guys later. Bye.